Guess who? Virtue grabs the board. He's been everywhere tonight. This is a physical Air Force team, and if you're Stanford, if you're going to guard a team that makes cuts like that, you have to keep constant body contact defensively. Can't allow the... There's that double team that we mentioned. Probably has to be there, and you want to try to keep Lopez out of the paint as best as you can. Virgie from way outside, and it's good. The Falcon coaches will tell you we can shoot. They definitely... for three got it air force is hot and they lead 18 to 4 and trent johnson calls a timeout attacking the paint going at that zone d another backdoor cut malele the beneficiary air force has 20 points and a 14 point lead give the assist to nick welch nice no look pass to defend it and right now with a young team that isn't it isn't quite there cutting in and getting fouled is hanky give that one to lopez there's one thing air force isn't afraid of and that's making cuts into the lane again that was just effort of just making a sharp cut, a back cut to the basket. Andrew Hankey. It up with the zone, paying attention to Lopez. Those openings are out there if Stanford can find them. Do they have an answer? Virgie, who is unstoppable from long range. 15 points for number 21 in blue. They've doubled up the car. He's better with two on. <laughs> Much better with two on. Did a pretty decent effort there for a while without, without the one. Welch, too strong. Guess who? Virtue grabs the board. He's been everywhere tonight. This is a physical Air Force team. And if you're Stanford, if you're going to guard a team that makes cuts like that, you have to keep constant body contact defensively. Can't allow those second and third chances, but you, you can keep that body contact. That he can work his way into some of those younger players, give them a little more experience out there with these seniors. Nice lob into Lopez. Gets the sixth man back in it. But Virtue can quiet a crowd in a hurry, and he's able to get it over. Lopez went back and knew he had to lay off or risk the goaltending, and Virtue again, he now has all times. That's the game plan, and it, it, it's definitely working, but when that happens, there are other things that are there, and Stanford just has to recognize it. The back cut, McGraw gets pushed from behind by Goods, so it's another Stanford foul, but Jacob Virtue, and this is senior season. In Colorado Springs, playing a whale. How about that? If it's Birchie versus the Cardinal, it's a two-point game. Kicks it to the corner for Welsh, who hits. Boy, they do have some shooters. Mm. 40 to 19, composed in. Side shots to fall. Precision half of basketball. Another whistle and foul underneath, Richie going to the hoop. 
That was effort right there because Birchie got himself open. He was up high. He took a jab step to his left, drew the defender up just enough to then cut right past him down the lane. But it takes a combination of things, and that time his teammate with the ball found it. Good communication. An understatement, 45 to 21 at the half. Look at that, 70% from the field. That yeah. is not a misprint. Not too shabby. Yeah, that's not free throw shooting. That is field goal percentage right there. They're actually shooting better from the field than they are from the free throw line. But the and on ESPNU Thursday. 30 Eastern. Well, Coach Pazella called a timeout. He was not happy when we were in the break zone, and I think he would like his team to finish this game off the way they started it with intensity, and Hankey knocks down the easy two. Yeah. Lele rebounds. Cardinal now 1 for 12. Three-pointers tonight. Of course, came out hot. Unable to come back. Jacob Bertschi is playing the game of his life. Here on ESPN2 at 10 Eastern, the winner of this one against the winner of Marquette at Texas Tech. If you like point guard play, you're going to want to see Jarius Jackson hooking up with Dominique James. Nice okay. spin move inside by Birchie. And Birchie. their leading scorer finally has his first points of the night. Well, he struggled in the last game. was over. They take a look at somebody like Drexel, who could be a little surprise out of the Colonial. I don't know if they've classified the Air Force in that category. I can't wait to hear Mr. Bardo, former fly in the line. A nice backdoor cut. Nick Welch with the feed to Andrew Hankey for the layup. Just like Franny Fraschella used to teach. Played at Kansas before going out to coach uh, historically at North Carolina, but the, the state of Kansas and the city of Kansas City, which of course is actually in Missouri, has as much basketball tradition as any part of the country. Nice little cover off the ball. Nick Welch with successes. Mr. Basketball in the state of Illinois and a guy who was a huge scorer in high school. And a guy who looks like he's going to fit in very nicely with Duke on the wing. Welch one on one with McRoberts pulls it out. Air Force actually executing a lot better in the second half. Oh, look There's at that pass. Cut. What a feed there. That's a terrific job cutting without the ball. Birchie with that look. Anderson was the cutter. Birchie the pass. Nice, beautiful pass, in fact, from Birchie to the cutter Anderson. And again, uh, Air Force running a, if you will, a modified form of the Princeton offense. They run it more up tempo, a quicker pace, and backdoor cuts are a huge part of that offense. Joe Scott did a heck of a job. He's responsible for a lot of these kids here as you look at Jeff Bizdelic. And That's a great point. Joe Scott was the coach for several years, Princeton and then now. he left, he went to Princeton. And then Chris Mooney came in just for a year, and then he went to Richmond. And now Jeff Bizdelic is in his second year. So some of these kids, all these seniors have played for three different coaches. But they the are system. still there modifying the system. Each coach has his own little wrinkle to it. But Jeff Bozdelic came in, and he didn't want to blow up the whole thing that had been so successful for them the last couple of years. Well, he likes a lot of the principles, and it really applies to the kind of skilled player they recruit. Yep. You have to really... It was checked in for the first time for the Falcons. Is that execution cut away from the basket? Off the post. Was hand off the screen. Walele fortunate that that pass found somebody and it finds Anderson who lays it in. Well, Anderson gets the layup, but again, normally you see Duke from the help side, somebody rotate over and take away the driving angle because your first key has to be the basketball. Can't be chasing men all over the court. The ball is what's going to hurt you. Anderson, the ball. Anderson with the last. That's really bothered a little bit of Eric. Timing and execution. A little better here. Anderson, pass inside. Welch, the kick to Fry, and he's going to give it right back to him. A lot of the offense runs through Welch, like right there. Lalele with the lane, but what a bullet pass from Nick Welch. Welch is such a prolific passer. He and now the Air Force has that mindset to execute. And remember, these kids are so mentally disciplined. Four seniors and a junior. He can pass the basketball yeah. at 45, Mr. Welch. Back to our cut. Birchie, Mr. Oh, what a dish. Oh, 
Oh, he dropped the dime, as Clark Kellogg would say. He dropped the dime. You got to convert that. How would you like playing with somebody from pass like that? Let's go back to the other one and take a look at another beautiful feed from Nick Welch. Well, it all started right here. You're going to watch it right here. He's going to run a backdoor cut, and he is going to drop the dime. There it goes, Mr. Burchy. Oh, what a great pass. You got to score that. <laughs> you got to make that count. That'll drop. Absolutely a coach's delight. And we'll see Kelvin Sampson in Indiana. Another backdoor cut against Duke in the ACC Big Ten next week. Another great pass, but another. Sure as well. Bad cross-court pass there by Paul is stolen away by Walele. Air Force needs some quick oh, conversions, and they get one there. Oh, that's a coach's dream. Coach's drool over that kind of basketball. The little backdoor cut. You can see a little lines. Timeout taken by Duke. Walele to Birchie for the beautiful backdoor layup. <laughs> Dean Smith's giving me a little look about the Pommens. The Got to take that to the basket and score. That's a tough little seven-foot shot where you don't get the glass as your friend. Maybe a little measure nice because of the charge. There's the backdoor cut. Well, lay lay to Birchie in the Falcons' lead. That's clinic 101 on how to execute the backdoor cut. The two big fouled by Birchie as we check out the backdoor cut at the other end. There goes the backdoor. Can freeze it. Oh, great backdoor. Could see on the defense. Has no sight of the ball. Gets the layup. You got to see ball, man. I tell you, you have to really concentrate defensively, Dan, against Air Force on almost every play. You got to be really into it and focused, and you have to see the ball and your man. I think we had a shot clock situation, which is. Triple penetration. They haven't done it so far in this game. They worked on a lot of shoot around, but they haven't really done in the game what they did in practice earlier today. Birchie. Again, anybody on the floor can and will shoot. The We're out rebounded 30 to 10 by Duke in last night's game. He said he was embarrassed by that number. When he saw that number, he could not believe it. Coach Pizdella. Dan Walele, who showed us some nice drives last night, can't convert down near the basket. Body. Night. He was absolutely to the point. He said they're just better than us. Mm -hmm. Their three perimeter people were so quick. When you think about Matthews, McNeil, and certainly James. How about the quickness of Walele as he will go to the line looking for the three point play. See, that's usually a no no against a Bob Knight team. It's to make a move to the goal. One of the worst factors in life, not only in basketball or anything, is a fear of failure. If you play with a fear of failure, you're not going to be able to perform. And the ball movement from Air Force. Everybody getting a touch almost every time down the floor. A lot of the offense oh, runs through Welch. Ass. And Teets is fouled. Another great feed from... That's their center, Nick Welch, who might be their best passer. Well, you know, Welch is such a terrific passer for a big guy. We'll see another great... We're going to see this... ...with a very good and maybe underappreciated nationally Air Force club. One thing about him, he really loves teaching, and he will do all he can to have them prepared for every game they play. Coaching is getting the most out of your people. Welch for three. Texas Tech has shut down the backdoor cuts by and large, but they have been susceptible to the three tonight. I really love Welch. I think such a good college. Things happen. These guys have the potential to have a very solid perimeter offense. I know one guy might be watching us tonight, a big fan of Bob Knight, football maestro of the Dallas Cowboys, Bill Parcells. They go back to their days at West Point. I got it. Yeah. Dan, he is a young man who's overcome many obstacles. When he was young, he grew up poor in a broken home. His parents separated when he was just two years old. His mom fought numerous addictions as a... ...of which include...
academy, he said, I'll have many options when I leave, none of which include being a brick mason, guys. <laughs> oh, I tell you, Doris, you amaze me with your work ethic and the knowledge you possess. I just learned something there about a Nick Welsh. Sounds like my kind of guy. Yep. I'll tell you one thing. You talk about an overachiever, a guy that really battled odds, and there he is with a score. Just a beautiful, beautiful story for all you young people out there who maybe think life is a little bit tough. You know, you could pick up the people. I said, why the academy? He said, I want to be a brick mason. I said, why the academy? He said, I'll have many options when I leave. I said, why the academy? He said, I said, why the academy? He said, I'll have many options when I leave, none of which include being a brick mason, guys. <laughs> I tell you, Doris, you amaze me with your work ethic and the knowledge you possess. I just learned something there about a Nick Welsh. Sounds like my kind of guy. Yep. I'll tell you one thing. You talk about an overachiever, a guy that really battled odds, and there he is with a score. Just a beautiful, beautiful story for all you. Looks, he's not getting the ball in his hands. Well, they all, had, all American, he's got to get some shots there. They had nothing going on for about 33 seconds there, and then Jackson just bailed him out. I think an interesting stat right now early in the game. They only have two turnovers here for us, and they have more rebounds already now mm. than they had all last night. Did not play well in the first half against Duke. Welch, the high arcing three, a little bit long. Zeno up above everybody, loses it though. Walele the miss. Descends a right climbing all over his back, and Walele banks it home. What guts it home right there by one. All in a two point lead as we near the last minute of the first half. All you have to do is spend a moment with some of these kids from the Air Force Academy, and you know that we're doing something right when we talk about developing young people. Just beautiful, beautiful kids. Again, the back door cut is shut off. Texas Tech has done a nice job with that. Oh, Not this time, though, but it winds up in an open three. Virtue the miss, rebound white. F, don't forget, Duke and Marquette in the championship game of the CBE Classic on ESPN2 at 10 o'clock Eastern tonight. Should be a terrific game. Marquette with one of the outstanding perimeter games in America. Duke very young, but very talented and played extremely well against Air Force last night. Welch the kick to Anderson, the extra pass to Walele, and they'll reset with 15 on the shot clock. Walele, the backdoor cut, took the bump, missed the layup, got it back, missed again, and the rebound brought down by Zeno, who played well enough in the first half, Dick, to earn a start here in the second half. Well, you know, Zeno was really a key for them to... This time on a neutral court, that's the kind of thing that'll look pretty good for them in March. Well, you try to impress the committee with that resume. Life in the Big 12, certainly you look up on top, Kansas should be outstanding. Anderson just left too wide open, a good screen there by Welch to free up Anderson. Yeah, you can't leave, mm -hmm. he's done it, like you said, with good shots. I think he's got to be a little bit more aggressive offensively, he's too skilled as a player. He's averaging 22 points per game in Tech's first five games of the season. Welch thought about it, now McCraw, who had a good first half, he buries the three, McCraw with a game high 13 for a big from the elbow but missed it and the back comes Air Force with a four-point lead they break your back you play so well and all of a sudden it's a kick out it's a three and it really frustrates you and most of the time you got to play 30 35 seconds of defense which is not always the case against a conventional team and you got to play defense as a unit you can't play it individually you got to play five people as a rhythm there's a layup they lost Welch Breakdown. And Bob Knight is off his seat, and John Plefka might be taking his seat pretty soon. Well, the one theory they teach is jump to the ball. Jump to the ball. Don't chase the cutter. You don't want to become a guy that is ball man, and then you, you want to get ball you man. Well, quickly becoming one of Dick's favorite big guys in America, Nick Welch of Air Force Dick. Uh, take a look at his nice little kick out. Look at that pass. I love Welch. There he is cutting without the ball to ESPN's complete college sports content. Log on to ESPNU.com today. We are College Sports.
Doing a good job defensively against this tough offense to stop. But there's the three. Can't give him that look. And again, Can't give him that look. And again, it was Welch with the screen. Three-point trip and the deficit down to seven midway through the second half here at the Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City. You know, you talk about little guards, you think about the little guy, Porter, down in Oregon. Certainly special at Diaper Dandy from the Motor City. Hit two big threes last night. What a comeback they made. You ready for this? They went down. They went down eight with 56 seconds left. It has a score. How about that two-man basketball right there between McCraw and Hankey, who gets his first bucket of the night. Yeah, Hankey comes... They are forcing that matchup. There's that patience. That would frustrate the heck out of me trying to defend and they break it down and have an open look. Birchie wanted a foul call on Zeno, didn't get it. Jackson explodes to the other end and misses the layup. He's bigger. Well, as Mike Krzyzewski said before the game against Air Force yesterday, there is no team in America that knows what they're doing, that runs their stuff, that executes their game plan as well as Air Force because they're three-year-olds. Eventually grab the record from Bob Knight if he keeps winning at the clip he's been winning at and sticks around a few more years. Well, he plans on going nowhere. He's got another recruiting class coming in, a Duke that's going to be outstanding. Anderson, a great look on the feed oh, from McCraw. Yeah. Credit the Air Force defense, defense for playing yeah. 35 seconds of tough D. Under six to go, and they're going to hold the ball a little bit and run their stuff. When you're down 11 with under six, the way they play, it's almost a nightmare yep. trying to get back in the game. Because you're not going to be able to trap them and get steals and turnovers. Put them on a free throw line, they're going to make free throws. Birchie is held. And the foul going on Zeno, his second. Well, Air Force, they ranked among the nation's leaders in a number of categories. Fourth year in a row, Dick, and we talked about it. it. It can be construed as a bit of a misleading stat, but they've led the nation in scoring defense four years in a row. They shoot the ball very well, and they just don't turn it over. They don't beat themselves very often. Well, if you don't turn it over, you make threes at a better than 40% ratio, and you play on the defensive side. That's usually a formula to get in the winner's circle. And they did last year 24 times. Backdoor cut, Anderson. Yes.